Good morning, everybody. Greetings from Nagasaki, Japan. I am here standing at the port of Nagasaki. And it is a little overcast today. Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. So today is my last day here in Nagasaki. I've been here for three nights already. So it's gonna be my last day and my last night before I head over to House Tempos. Oh yes, something else I'm looking forward to. But you know, at first I was planning on a three night trip. Satoshi suggested three nights, maybe four nights is too long. But usually when he says three nights is sufficient, I usually add another night uh, just because I like to take things at a slower pace. Having said that, I filmed a lot of videos for you guys, so it wasn't really slow pace, but I do like, you know, um, I, 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 I like to have time to do things like this, like come to the port and just walk around in the morning with a, a cup of uh, coffee. So this is Dejima Wharf, and it's hard to see, but there's a bridge in the distance you can't really see it, it's behind those three uh, sh ships, boats, well, what do you call them, not really sure, but yeah, too bad. Too bad it's an overcast day, I think it would look really beautiful if you could see the bridge. And this area is like a miniature fisherman's wharf, kind of reminds me of a, uh, has a feel of a uh, fisherman's wharf in San Francisco. It's a lot smaller, but Nagas Nagasaki is a... Uh, pretty small city. Uh, this place serves uh, seafood bows. I think they're already open. So I'm sure some people eat seafood bows in the morning time. And then uh, let's see what else is there. Um, there is a restaurant on the second floor. Yeah the view from there should be really nice. And there's a coffee, sh there's a cafe in front of me. Ah, oh, I should have gone there. <laughs> I didn't know there was a cafe. I didn't even know that all these shops are here. I thought it was just going to be the port. This is kind of nice. And you see all these uh, string lights. So it must be nice at night as well. Oh, and um, that building right there, it's, it, it says Yumi. It's actually pronounced Yume, <laughs> which means dream in Japanese, and that is a shopping mall. So this whole place is um, like three minute walk from a hotel. So convenient. I do have my mask on now because there are actually people here. It's on the weekday, weekday morning, but yeah, there are some people walking around and yeah, I just want to um, protect them from me just in case. Oh, by the way, I did have my second COVID test and it came out negative. Yay! I remember when I went to San Francisco the last time, which was, gee, how long was it? I guess it was about three years ago. Um, I went to, um, not the Fisherman's Wharf, I went to the Farmer's Market and it was um, located where you could see the Brooklyn Bridge. Sorry. The Bay Bridge. What am I talking about? It's because this cafe was catching my attention. Yeah, this is nice. They open at eight o'clock. Oh, this is my last last day here. I have to leave early in the morning. Too bad I would have come here to get a cup of tea or something if I had known. So the name of this place is Nagasaki Dejimo Wharf. So I wonder what that modern building is over there. Kind of looks like a museum or something. It's very modern and nice. Okay, looks like there are people fishing there. And it looks like there's a park over there. Let's keep walking. Well, here's another cafe here that's open from 8 a.m. Nice. Okay. I might have to come back to Nagasaki again. You know where I want to go? I, I want to go to uh, Sasebo next time. Sasebo is um, located inside Nagasaki, but it's kind of far. Nagasaki is a pretty big prefecture, and 
um, I, I think it I think it takes about an hour and 45 minutes or something like that it's quite far but definitely want to check that out someday by the way you see that mountain in the distance so I am planning to go to the top of the mountain um, tonight since it's my last night Oh hey, it is a museum. It's the Nagasaki Prefectural Art Museum. Actually, this is something I would love to see, but it's my last day and I have some other places I need to go today. So unfortunately, this is for next time. Looks like there's a park here, maybe most likely overlooking the sea. You guys hear the birds chirping? Isn't that nice? It's nice. Oh! Suji, is it already that time of the year? Um, now the name escapes me in English. Why can't I remember? But these bloom right before the rainy season starts. I do hope you guys enjoyed my videos from Nagasaki and Kyoto. I hope you found them interesting and not too random or not too boring. I do have to constantly remind myself that um, there is still a pandemic going on and so I like to stay safe and I like to visit places where there aren't too many people. So that sometimes make for kind of boring video I guess. So these look like sakura trees but I think they were early sakura. Most of them are already finished. You can see some here with the flowers but the leaves have already come out. This is a nice one. Hello. You might be the last of the sakura trees I'm seeing this year. What a pretty park, it's so peaceful. Very peaceful indeed. Pretty. There are a lot of places to walk here, you know. I'm walking on one of the paved uh, streets, but you can also walk down there by the, the canal. Oh, this is nice. Let's go to the waterfront. I want to see if I can see the bridge from here. What a nice, spacious lawn. The dog playing with his master, or it could be her, her master, his her master. Kids running around, people taking photos of the bridge. It's very nice. I like this a lot. I'm so glad I came to this park because, yes, I have like the perfect view of the bridge. You guys see it? It is overcast so it's hard to see, but the bridge is right in front of us. I don't really know the name of the bridge. I'll find out later. The bridge looks especially beautiful with the flowers in the foreground. So I just uh, found out that the bridge is called the Venus Wing. What a cool name. What a cool name they gave to a bridge. Hello little boy. Hello little boy.
Yeah, let's stand here for a while and just take in this view, shall we? Those are the flowers that I took a while ago. Uh, these are, um, I don't know the name, uh, but uh, they are, I, I think it, look at the yellow flowers. They bloom during springtime. I think they're canola flowers or something. I'm not exactly sure what the name is. But we eat them during the springtime. They're delicious. This tree here kind of reminds me of the banyan tree in Hawaii. Interesting. Although the one in Hawaii you would have all these, uh, I guess these would be branches? They look like roots. Uh, they would be hanging all over the tree. I used to call them the Tarzan tree when I was a kid. What a beautiful park this is. It's so peaceful. It really was a great idea to come to Nagasaki. You know, Nagasaki is uh, pretty far away from Tokyo. Uh, usually people go by plane because, you know, it's, it takes too long to go by bullet train. But I thought if I make a stop over somewhere like Kyoto, you know, I stopped over in Kyoto this time, um, it will be doable. And it was, it was, and I rather enjoyed the train ride. <laughs> I do have to say you don't really get to see much of the landscape uh, between um, like say from Shinkobe to Hakata. There were a lot of tunnels and so yeah, I didn't really get to see much. I did film the whole ride. If you want to see that long ass video, <laughs> you can check it out over on my third channel, I will always travel for food. Um, maybe some of you guys don't know about my third channel. I do have a third channel. I should think of starting a fourth one. But for now, I have you know, three. Tabi Eats, which um, I manage with Satoshi, and then this channel, Shinichi's World, and, and my I, I Will Always Travel for Food channel. I do not talk on that channel. I don't show my face. Um, I get comments on that channel saying um, it's boring without talking but um, uh, I think you're in the minority because um, that channel is doing really well and it seems like most of the people that watch that channel prefer those kind of videos yeah so so I filmed the whole train ride Shinkansen train ride I'm not not the entire you know like three hours but um, yeah it's condensed into a shorter 30 minute video <laughs> So, like I said, it's my last day here in Nagasaki. I am going to take you guys to Meganebashi, which means um, Spectacles Bridge. And that's going to be on my next video, along with a Chinese temple nearby there. It's a very historical part of town. And um, I, might, I might do some night walking later on, um, and that will be the video coming after that. Unless I'm like super exhausted and I don't make it out of the hotel room after <laughs> after I come back from my first filming. Um, and that does happen sometimes. I have been quite exhausted, but it's a good kind of exhaustion. It's a good kind of exhaustion. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please smash that like button and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. So that hill in front of me, that is a Glover Hill, where Glover Garden is. Uh, the Dutch, the Hollander Slope. And you see that uh, building, it kind of looks like a, a Roman building. That is the former Hong Kong Shanghai Bank. And that is the museum now. I actually visited there. It was very interesting.